Hey guys, Alex here from AlexVegas.com and today I have an unboxing and first impressions of another red light therapy panel. This is from a new company, well a new company to me anyway. It's a company called Solvasium and the product is still in the box here as you can see. I haven't even opened it up. The product is called the Optics 180. Now to be honest, I didn't know too much about this company. Uh, it wasn't until they reached out to me and said, hey, you know, check out our stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, here we go, have a look. Probably in just another clone copy uh, red light therapy panel company, but it wasn't. I mean, there's some interesting stuff on this site, uh, solbasium.com, I'll put a link to that below. Um, they, not only do they have the red light therapy panels in quite a range, but they've also got uh, red light therapy beds, including a red light therapy water bed, and I still don't quite understand what that is, so uh, I'm eager to learn more about that. But anyway, this company was born in 2018, and they wanted to bring the highest quality red light therapy panels and devices to the market, and also they really want to bring high standards of uh, support and customer care uh, into their business and the products they sell. So. I have noticed that from the emails I have been getting from them to date, but of course, um, I don't have much experience on the consumer side. So if you do, please leave your comments below because I'd love to uh, get your feedback on it. I'm going to test this panel for a couple weeks and I'll be doing a full dedicated review like I have done with various panels to date. So be sure to subscribe uh, to check out that in the future. In the meantime, what do you need to know about this panel? Well, Solbasium have five panels in their product range. The smallest panel is the Optic 60, and that has 60 LEDs. The biggest one is the Optic 480, which, as you can guess, has 480 LEDs. So that's a big panel. This particular one I have here beside me is the Optic 180. Yes, that's right, 180 LEDs. That's in the middle of their range, so they've got one smaller and one bigger than that. It's quite a quite a good product range, to be honest. Uh, you know, I think it's a good uh, a good range. Maybe maybe three or four is really all you need, but hey, it gives you gives the consumer lots of options. Turns out this is their most popular panel, and it comes in at nine hundred and ninety five US dollars. So that's probably why it's the most popular one. It's a good price for a good size. At the time of writing, I don't have a discount code, but I'm pushing hard to get it, and uh, that code will be Alex, and hopefully we'll give you 5% discount on the, this product, and, and hopefully any of the products that the guys over at Sol Solbasium sell. But if that doesn't work, be sure to check out the comments or description below, because I will be putting all the latest codes and discount deals that I have going down there. Now, as you can see, the box is pretty bland, which is never a good start, to be honest. Um, there's no branding, there's no stickers, there's no labels. In fact, the only way I knew what it was, was this sticker here, uh, where I see Soul Basium. And I couldn't quite decipher all these other characters, maybe you can. Uh, we can see it's made in China, there's one panel inside and it's an LED light. And that's it. When I see that, it's always a bit of a bummer. I'm always a bit like, uh, yeah, is this just gonna be another carbon copy clone panel? I hope not. Um, Maybe we'll be surprised when we open it up. Okay, I have to be honest, that was probably the most painful unboxing experience I've had with any red light therapy panel to date. This is all about the Optics 180. And here it is. So as you can see, uh, it's a, a standard sort of body size panel, um, white colouring, metal case. It's different, but it's the same. Uh, it's got a different look and feel to a lot of the panels that I've played with over the years. Um, but at the same time, it's quite similar. You know, white design, similar size. Uh, you got your ear vent etching on the side with your control panel here, which we'll have a closer look at soon. Um, but front's on, you can see it's got these little ribs, or lips on the side, sorry. On the back we've got six fans. Uh, in the center here we have your power point and a couple of plugs, master, neutral, slave, signal, and signal, right? So obviously this supports um, expansion with modular capability. Yep, we've got the screws at the top here. Um, rubber feet, little, little rubber feet, a little bit smaller than the usual ones. And there seems to be three sections of LED clusters. There's a bit of a divide in the middle here. Personally, I, I don't like that. I don't know why some panels have that. It must be a design, like manufacturing point of view. I was gonna say like there must be something in there that like stops, stops and putting a row of LEDs in here. But honestly, when I look in here, there's just empty space. 
which is just weird. I mean, you're just losing an, a treatment area there, aren't you? Um, so I'm not too sure why they do that. I know like some older panels back when I did the 2019 comparison, you know, had that design. Some were quite thick and I, I was always like, hey, it's not great. So this is, I haven't really seen it in any of the newer like Gen 2 panels. Uh, light path LED, you know, I can't remember, but um, oh, it's not major, but it's just worth noting. So let's have a look what was included in the box. First up, we've got the power cable. Uh, it's good to see that it's got a local plug for me, though the cable does look a little bit short, which is rather frustrating. Uh, we do have some goggles, just your standard goggles that most other companies have. Um, we have the hooks and metal cables, which go on the top. So you can hang that from a door hook, which I have here, which is a standard door hook. We have a pulley system, so all of your standard accessories. Um, but this is a bit different. It's a little remote, which is neat. Yeah, I've only seen that with one other panel today, and that was the light pass LED panel. Um, and I thought at first that was a bit of a novelty, a bit of a gimmick, but I actually used it quite a lot. But that was because the control panel on the light pass LED um, was Shocking. Very difficult to use. Check out the uh, video, my first impressions video on that one to see what I mean. So it'll be interesting to see if this is useful or just a gimmick. And then we've got the manual. Um, so let's have a look at this manual. Alright, so a bit of about their product range. So you got the Optic 60. The 180 is what I have here. Um, size and all that. Oh! I've got an Optic 600. I thought the 480 was the biggest. Well, that's pretty neat. Um, it's always, I don't know, I find it a bit funny when you see the product range in a manual. It's like a bit of an upsell. I'm surprised it doesn't have like a price in a, in a, the website right there so you can go and order it. And then you've got how you how you set it up. So you five steps. Another five steps, how to, how to link them together. If you've got multiple units. Uh, a little bit about treatment, distance, eye protection, benefits, and then warning. So nothing really special there. In fact, it's quite a basic manual. Okay, so it's all pretty standard stuff so far. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to plug it in, fire it up, see how it runs, see what this control panel is like. That's all plugged in. We'll just turn it on at the back. Whoa, and straight away it runs. Okay, uh... Let me just get familiar with this control panel so I can turn it off. How do I turn it off? T, near infrared and red, plus and minus. Usually uh, you turn the power on then you have to start it up. But not with this optics. Okay, so it just starts running liter literally straight away. As soon as I hit that power button on the back, which is this button here. So that's like the main power button. Turn that on and the red light goes. Alright, so when I press T there, it just comes up this F, 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 F. Okay, that button there must be... Yeah, that, that's effectively your power button. So, the red, near infrared, that's enabled the near infrared. Press it again, it's just red light. Press it again, both are running. So that's kind of like your power button. Plus and minus, don't do anything. Okay, that's odd. Okay, now the time is running. Yeah, I've used a lot of control panels. <laughs> And I thought the uh, light path LED one was just out of this world complex, which actually it is. But this is um, this is an out of this world complex. It's in a way it's just a little bit frustrating uh, that it doesn't work the way it should work. I'm surprised that when you turn the power light, power on at the back, it kicks in straight away. Usually that would give it power, and then you've got to start it. You know, you can set the time. It's not a bad thing. It's just it's just different. You know, you turn that on, and away you go straight away. Anyway. It is what it is. We, we, it's not too hard. Like you can get it running. You've got a timer on there. Uh, it does what it needs to do, right? Let's have a look at the face of the panel. All right. I don't know if you could see that, but there is a very subtle color difference in the red there. That is because this panel actually has five wavelengths in it. It's got your 660 and your 850 nanometer light, which is your standard sort of red light therapy, and your near infrared lights. Uh, but it's also got 630 nanometers, which is another red uh, wavelength, and you've got 810 and 830. So you've got three wavelengths in the near infrared range and two in the red light therapy range. However, 
80% of the power is going to your big ones, your 660 and your 850, and even 40% split between the two of them. Then you've got 7% going to your 630, 7% going to your 810, and then 7% going to your 830, or thereabouts, just under 7%. So you may have seen that subtle red difference every now and then uh, where you have the 630 nanometer light. Now, um, percentage-wise, you think, oh yeah, that's all good, but when you actually crunch the numbers, there's 180 LEDs in here. So that means 72 LEDs are uh, putting out 850 nanometer light, 72 are putting out your 6 to 60 nanometer light, and then only 12 are putting out your 630, 12 are putting out your 830, and 12 are putting out your 810. It means you're not really getting much treatment in those um, lesser... Uh, no, less is the wrong word. In those alternative uh, wavelengths, you might only get like an LED here and here and here type thing. So you're not getting your full treatment area. No, in fact, you'll be getting four LEDs in this whole section there, which are putting out one of the alternative LED wavelengths. So that is worth noting. Uh, you're not getting an even split, you know, and a lot of these panels, when they market it multi wavelength, you need to check how much power is going to those wavelengths. And, um, Especially if, if you're in the market for, say, a panel that has 810 and then you find out it's only 7% of the actual power output. But these are 5 watt LEDs, so it will be interesting to see what the power radiance levels are like. And I will be doing that in my full review, so be sure to subscribe to uh, learn more about that. Um, otherwise though, yeah, I mean it's rather standard. A couple of wavelengths in there, which is good. Um, sounds and runs pretty good. Let's have a look at the remote and see if that makes life a little bit easier. All right, well that's a bummer. There's no battery battery included. I don't know, when you spend a thousand bucks, it would be nice to have a battery included in the remote though. That, that's a bit of a blow. It puzzles me why some of these companies make them so confusing. Like, it doesn't have to be confusing. I mean, you just look at the Mitre Red panels or the Platinum panels, Platinum LED panels, like, they just, it just works. Like it just works the way you'd expect it to work. I'm guessing what the T button does is just alternates between a timer counting down, which it is now, and no time at all. But why does it have F? Like you just think, oh, have I broken something? Like why doesn't it just go blank or something? I don't know. And then that time is running anyway. Like usually the time is a link to um, when the unit's running. And plus and minus. Let's see how far up we go. Uh, not the best buttons either. Uh, let's see if we hold it down. Oh, it goes up pretty high. 30 minutes. Well, that is good. Um, but yeah, just keep... <laughs> it's an odd... So how do you stop the timer now? If we go there, I guess that stops the timer. I don't know. Bizarre. Uh, but, I mean, to get it running, hey, the main thing is you just use this R in R button. Press it once. Red light, the near infrared is running, you can see the little LED here is glowing. Nice that they use a green one, often they use like red and it, you, you lose it all in the, in the red glow. Um, hit it again, boom, red light only, hit it again and now you get both running. So yeah, it is, it's easy enough to get it up and running, it's just not like amazing. <laughs> it could be done better. So overall, the Sol Basium Optics 180, I mean it's, it's, it's a little bit different, it's got some good features. It will be interesting when we test the power output and do some value uh, calculations. That will be really interesting because, you know, maybe it will be a standout there. But, you know, from the, the moment the package arrives on your door, to the unboxing experience, to plugging it in and, and getting it going, or, or in this case trying to stop it from going, it was all a little bit plain I guess um, you know you get that remote and you think oh cool remote but there's no battery in it all the accessories are just your standard accessories the manuals more of a sales catalog almost than an actual manual I don't know I, I, disappointed maybe I was kind of hoping for something you know really cool and unique um, feel a little bit let down but hey this is just the first impressions unboxing. It's not my overall review. I will test this for a few weeks. I'll use it. Um, I'll see if my wife wants to use it. And then what I will do is I'll sit down, get all the gear out, and I'll have a full day dedicated to filming, testing, and sharing all my thoughts and feedback. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about this Optics 180, I'll put a link below. You can go over to the website and check it out. You can also check out all the other panels in the Optics product range. 
Be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X. It will save you a few percent. Otherwise, check out some of my other reviews and first impressions. And uh, be sure to head over to alexfeels.com where I've got my red light therapy buyer's guide as well. And I include all the data points and metrics from the panels I've tested. All right, guys. Bye.